Hey mobile devs, welcome back to Pro Mobile Developer Mastery. I will guide you to build the rock solid Flutter apps. Today, in this episode, we will dive into 19 tips on our ultimate Flutter best practices list. Let's go! Use linters for matters static analysis. Linters catch risky patterns and potential bugs early. Example Step 1 Add strict lint rules. In PubSpec.yaml, Add the flutter lens. Step 2. Configure analysis option.yaml. Step 3. Example without linter. This will run but it used brand instead of a proper logger. It used var instead of final where value never changes. Formatting may not be consistent. Step 4. Example with linter. This linter forces proper logging, debug printing instead of print. Use of final for immutable values. Consistent codes indentation and spacing for matters ensure consistent code style automatically static analysis detect deeper issues before running the app ci cd integration automate checks on every pull request after i push my changes the github action ci cd pipeline automatically kicked in here you can see the workflow running each step including the file command being executed as part of the process. A pro tip, integrate this into GitHub action or a Bitbucket pipelines so PRs fail if lint rules are violated. Example, CI command, flutter analyze, chart format, set exit if changed. Use automation for repetitive checks and a human for judgment. Automation handles linting, formatting, and unit and widget test execution. Security scanning, catch and save dependencies and performance checks. Warn if belts get too big or slow. Human review, insurance clarity, architecture alignment, edge cases and business logic. Correctness. The sweet spot, automation handles mechanical stuff, human focus on reasoning and architecture. Example setup, GitHub action workflow. The team role, BRs cannot be merged until all automated checks passed, at least one senior dev approves. Refactor before adding. Before adding features or fixing bugs, refactor related code first. Clean up duplication, outdated patterns, and an unclear intent. Improve structure and naming for better readability. Integrate the new code smoothly without hacks or shortcuts. Example here is before refactor. And after refactor, before adding any new user-related logic, you cleaned up the validation logic, making future changes safer and simpler. Avoid a clever code. Prioritize a clarity over a cleverness. Here's the rule. Readable code lasts longer than clever code. Here the clever but confusing code. And here is more readable code. The second version may take few more lines, but it's easier to read and debug and extend. Optimize for performance early. Bad performance kills user experience. Best practice, cache heavy assets like image, JSON, ABI response. Minimize widgets rebuilds using const constructor where possible. Use list view dead builder for large lists instead of rendering all items. Use repaint boundary for isolate expensive widgets. Profile your app using Flutter dev tools regularly. Use dependency injection (DI). Avoid hard coding dependency inside your classes. Now you can swap implementation easily. Inject them so your code becomes testable and maintainable. In Flutter, use package like GetIt or Riverboard for dependency injection. Manage state properly. Flutter apps get complex fast. Pick a state management solution and stick it constantly. Options like a provider for simple apps. Riverboard for type safely and scalable. Block and qubit enterprise level and predictable state. Get X, Bob X, minimal boilerplate. Pro tip. Don't mix multiple state management solutions unless there is a clear architecture reason. Use effective logging. Relying on a brand is dangerous. Use structured contextual logging instead. Best practices, just use debug print instead of a print. Avoid performance issues with large logs. Use logger package for colored, 
struct logs, log only what's necessary, group blocks by feature, module for easier debugging. Secure your app. Security is often overlooked but critical in mobile apps. Best practice for Flutter apps, don't hard code ABI keys, just use .env or secure storage. Use HTTPS for all network calls. Validate all inputs, both client and server sides. Encrypt sensitive data using Flutter secure storage. Offscating and minify belts for production. Use a sync and isolate wastely. Flutter UI thread must remain smoothly. Overload heavy work to isolate or compute. Best of practice for CPU intensive tasks like a JSON parsing use. Never block the main thread with the long loops or synchronize API calls. Use async and await consistently for readability. Optimize network calls. Inefficient networking can call performance and battery life. One. Using DO with interceptors, logging and retry. DO.interceptors.add lets you attach interceptors to your HTTP clients. On requests, runs before sending the request, you can add headers, log the request, etc. On response, runs when the response arrives, inspect or transform the response. On the error, runs on the error, retry the request or refresh the token there. And also, you can cache responses with the Flutter Cache Manager. Default Cache Manager .get single file that fetch the file from the network or cache it if it's available. And file to treat as a byte treats the file from the cache. Result: fewer server requests and faster UI. Pagination loading data in batches. Query parameters send page and limit to the server. The server returns only the requested page of the data. You show the first page, then load the next one as the user scroll, less data used, and the memory. Handling offline mode with connectivity plus. Connectivity.onConnectivity change emits every time the network status change. If connectivity result.none, the user is offline. You can show a banner, a toast, or a queue network request, and the connection returns. Adopt feature flex. Instead of pushing incomplete features into production, use feature toggles. Benefits Enable or disable features remotely. Safely test experimental features. Roll out gradually without redeploying. Use packages like Flutter Config or integrate with Firebase Remote Config. Use code matrix and coverage. Measure code quality, don't guess it. Recommended tools. Dart code matrix identifies complexity and anti batters. Flutter test coverage measures test coverage. Sonar cube for enterprises projects. Set minimum threshold for a code coverage in CI CD pipelines. Follow semantic versioning. When publishing apps, APIs, or packages, follow semantic versioning. Major.minor.batch. Major. Breaking changes, minor, new features, backward compatible, batch, bug fixes only. This keeps teams and CI CD pipelines predictable. Use a proper version control practices. Git is a powerful, use it properly. Use feature branch. The main branch remains clean and deployable while features are built and tested on their dedicated branches. Write clear atomic commits. Each commit should be a single logical unit of work. The message must be clear, describing what was changed and why. Use pull requests with the peer reviews. Before merging a feature branch into the main code base, a pull request BR is created this force peer review where teammates check a code for quality bugs and complaints with the standards it acts as a critical quality check. Stack stable releases. Once the, once the code reaches the production ready stable state, it should be marked with a tag. A permanent easy to read label that allows you to the team to easily identify, check out, and redeploy the exact version of the code that was shipped to the users. Monitor and analyze in a production. Don't fly blind after release. Use tools like a track, crashes, performance, and used. Crash analytics detect crash instantly. Sentry error monitoring and reporting. 
Firebase Analytics, Understanding User Behavior, App Performance, Major UI Responsive. Always keep dependencies updated. Updated packages causes bugs, security issues, and deprecated ABIs. The best practice always flutter pop up updated and upgrade them with the major versions. Check change logs before updating. Automate dependency updates using bots like Renovate. Write documentation and onboarding guides. Code that only understand equal future nightmare. The best practice here is maintain readme with project setup instructions. Document ABIs using Dart doc. Use architecture.md to explain project structure. Keep importing doc up to date for a new developers. Offline first resilient sync. Mobile networks are flaky. Design your app so it works without connectivity and syncs safely when back online. Core practices Local first storage, write read from Have SQLite sync in background. Optimistic UI update UI immediately, mark records as pending. Outbox queue buffer write with UID reply when online. ID important API server accept the same operation ID only once. Conflict strategy pick one. LWW failed level merge server authoritative and documented. Back off and retry exponential back off cap retries surface error. Reachability hooks react to connectivity changes to trigger sync. A pro tip lock every sync decision who when conflict retry drops it's a gold when debugging user reports follow for more programming tips